Hey everybody, we're so glad you're here today. And this is a wonderful Thursday, a little cloudy outside, but it's going to be okay. I want to remind you that this coming Sunday morning at 10 a.m. here at Carolina Cornerstone Church, we're going to be back in the building to worship. Now, right now, we know many of you are still trying to make the decision, and we're praying with you. And with that, we're still going to be live streaming. And I want to remind you that we're going to be live streaming every week the rest of the, of the time that we know what we're going to be doing. So live streaming has become a very important part of our ministry here in our church. And we're so thankful that you can be a part of that, even if you can't be here. 10 a.m. Sunday morning here at Carolina Cornerstone Church. We want to be with you to come on back if you can. Our life group started meeting back on campus last night. A great success. Just We're just overwhelmed by the great success of that and our great leaders and teachers in that. So we just want you to plug in, be a part of the church. And today I want to talk about God's power. You know, we normally in our day spend time talking to God daily. Most people that I know only talk to God when, well, when things are bad. But I've learned. With my personal, I need God every four or five times a day. I know what He wants me to do and what He wants me to say. So, verses 20 to 31, He never grows tired. Of His strength, those who are weak and tired, and those who trust in the Lord for help will find their strength renewed. So the worst times in our lives sometimes, we, we want to go to God, but those worst times we are exhausted, drained. Truth is falling in. We look up and it's despair. Our answer normally is, what now? What's next? We often say, I've heard it and done it myself, I can't handle one more thing. What I've learned is that the attitude process of this. We don't think we can, because we don't trust God into it. I like what we talked about yesterday a little bit in 2 Corinthians 1.8. Paul says we were over and fear we never would never leave, live through. Paul getting ready to give up. One of us, if all, if we be honest with ourselves, that point, not giving up in that you'll find today now just want to remind you when you see that word but in there it changes the whole way we're seeing things he said we put everything into God's hands and he saved us this is the power of God he when we decide that we're going to put everything in God's hand things change we need to remember that God can raise the dead, part the Red Sea, He can certainly come and help you and I in our lives. And this is true. We need to hold on to this so that we understand when life is tough, and it does get tough, and it's not the same every day, but we all go through struggles and trials, is that we need to remember that the Lord is there and He takes care of us. But I have some good news today. Great news for you today. The same power that God let his son Jesus be raised from the dead. You can have that same power. He wants you to tap into that power. That resurrection was looked like it was hopeless. And all of a sudden, everything has been changed. That's what the power of God does. He infuses us. He can infuse our career. He can help us with our health. He can take care of a marriage. And he is saying to us today, allow his power to infuse in your life. So where do you get that kind of power? Where do you get that power? Well, you get that the moment you give your life to Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to hold on to that because there's a lot of times people don't realize but they're the praying part of it. People feel like that's a second blessing. It's not a second blessing. When you got saved, you got every single thing that God was giving you. He gave it to you on that day. And the goal is you and I have to grow into that. So what happens is that the Holy Spirit fills us. And when the Holy Spirit fills us, it gives us a power and a guide like we've never had before. 
And he says in 2 Timothy 1, 7, For the spirit that God has given us does not make us timid. The spirit that God gives us, gives us power and love and self-control. That spirit is what he's saying to us today. Give you the power to... You remember I about this church. Overcomer. There's nothing impossible with God. And as you and I are in the real, there will be situations that hold us back. We depend on God. So maybe today you're getting ready to face a doctor's appointment. Maybe today you're getting ready to power to do what is God. That's what it does. Let me just the creation of this is the power of God. Out and you see all he gave us the power of that. Centuries ago, uh, God has promised Abraham a son, and Sarah lasts because she's too old. And then, probably nine months later, she had a son. So it teaches us the power of God. I, one of my favorite stories is Moses crossing the Red Sea, the power of God, the, doing the supernatural with water and walking across. It shows us the power. The power of God can be revealed in David, giant Goliath. We see Jesus healing the sick and raising the dead. We see Peter walking on the water. And no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what you're facing today, I want you God has the power to help you get through that. What he wants us to do is to tap into that power. And today he wants you to do that. So that's why it's so important as a church that we come to corporate work, that we're in a life group, we have, we have our own power. And I want you to the more you at that moment and begin to realize God to give you the power. Whatever you're facing, give I want to encourage you to pray with me. We have many folks uh, this morning, John Ebb, I'm hoping for him as he's going to be having an MRI on this coming Saturday. Miss Gail had surgery. Everything well. Uh, today, um, had surgery. She did very well. Ben had surgery yesterday. Talked with him this morning. He is doing so good today. I want you to also be praying for Molly Quinn. She's having some health issues and they're doing some things. I want you to pray for Ann Grantham and for healing for cancer. Miss Linda Melton's in phase two. We pray that you would pray with her to heal. And would you be praying for Jean Fulp? Her sister passed away during the night. She's been very sick with cancer. And so I just ask you to be praying for them. Diane Wilson had surgery yesterday. is doing really good. Been back to the doctors this morning. My friend Mike Cookman doing good. Be praying for him. And I just want you to pray. And I know that we've got a lot of We need to use confidence. and our nurses and the hospitals and our doctor's offices and this frontline folk. Please, please pray for them. Pray that for our scientists as they try to look for that recovery and that vaccine. Pray for our police department, our fire department, our military. And we just need to know that we're doing everything and this country is doing We need to pray for the president and the governors and the mayors and those leaders. And pray for peace. The answer to the peace in America is Jesus. That is And I ask you to be that with me. Pray that we give peace. And when you go out today, be nice, be kind, be loving. So I want you to also be praying for our, our world. We need Jesus. We need a revival. Be praying with us as that revival breaks out all over. So I want you to join me in prayer, please. Father, we thank you right now. I thank you for this.
God, it is a wonderful and powerful church. I thank God that we were able to bring life groups last night as we're gradually moving back in. I pray for Sunday morning service. Lord, our sermon this Sunday is called we read that story, it is a way out because you always provide that for us. And Lord, we look up today, our friend, good friend, Jean Fulton, Lord, you be with her family as her sister has passed away. I pray for John, Lord, is that the MRI will be, uh, will show that healing is in the process. And Lord, today I pray that you would guide us, help us, help this great country, and Lord, help us to be the witness always that people might see the power in us to do great things we give you praise and honor and glory in jesus name amen hey i hope to see you tomorrow i want you to have a great rest of the day remember this go tell people about jesus